integration can be tough to do if you don't know how to transform your formulas. But Monte Carlo simulations may help you to simulate that situation. Let's start with a very simple formula, y equals x. And we set x to between 0 and 10, and y between 0 and 15, or whatever you decide. And once you do all of that, you get this graph of all kind of points. The more points you have, the more reliable your integration will be. This one has a very simple formula. We create a random number with the rand function. And we take the difference between C4 and B4, and we add that to B4. And we do that all the way down, which I did to row 1067. Then we did something similar for y. That makes sense now. And this is the pattern we found. Each time you press F9, it will create a new set of random numbers between 0 and 10 and 0 and 15 for x and y. Uh, we are going to do more, of course, in order to find the integration result. I'm going to unhide these rows, and this is what we did in all of this. We, we calculate the total area by ta taking C4 minus B4 times C5 minus B5, and that is the total area. Then how much is under the curve? That I have to explain first before we are going to do that. Here I put a new formula. If C8 is less than B8, then put B8 in there, otherwise zero. And you copy that formula down. So we have a lot of zeros. That means those points we are not going to acknowledge. Uh, this one is similar, but this is for the Y feature variable. And then finally, we set ones and zeros what is under the curve and what is above the curve. If E8 equals 0, then 0, otherwise 1. Once we have that, we are going to plot that here. We are going to plot this section here. Um, I'm changing the type by making it just dots. And that is the area under the curve. So we are going to calculate that one. Under the curve is F1 times F4 divided by F5. Okay. Here we sum E8 through the bottom of that column. The total is the count. How many points do we have between E8 and E107? 1060. Again, the higher that number is, the more reliable your transformation is and the calculation of your integration. Okay. And this is the result we got. So under the curve is 50 in this case. And it oscillates around that number. We are going to make the formula a little more complicated than this one. We are going to use this formula y equals x to the power of 2. So the only thing you change, the rest is the same, are the yellow cells. Here, b4 to the power of 2, of course, and that one, c4 to the power of 2. Here we are going to say if c8 is less than b8 to the power of 2. Here we find out, is it under the curve or above the curve? That was the same as before. The total area is in this case, 1000. Under the curve is this, and, and just to show you how much, how close we get to the real integration, I put here the formula if you know how to integrate y equals x to the power of 2. That would be this. So this is the real integration result, and that is the one done with a Monte Carlo simulation. The sum, etc., is all the same. In this case, the curve is a little different, of course, each time. It's not a straight line anymore, it's not a linear relationship. 
So uh, we did a little more though. Uh, because the secret always is to get these answers closer together, these two, to have many, many cases. So what we could do too, and that is another added attraction, we could do a what they call a data table that repeats all those thousand calculations, in this case ten times or so. So the end result is even better. So here the formula equals G1 times J31 divided by G6. This is the result that we really got, and you see we got pretty close here. Closer than there, because we have 10 times 1000 cases. So what I did here is um, I put the absolute difference between the, the, the really calculated one and the simulation version and I put conditional formatting in there that says if K16 that is if the real one is greater than H2 then just show us that. So I'm going to do all of this and it will usually stay very close together and in general this one will always be closer in general. The more cases you have the safer you can be. So maybe you want to do this 100 times. If your machine is fast in calculating, like mine, it will do fine. In this case, the under the curve for simulation is two points higher than the real one. But usually it, it will just oscillate around the real one. Again, in general, but again, results may vary in statistics, this one will be closer than that one. This is a, a simple way of doing computer simulations through Monte Carlo simulations in order to get results for an integration.